Just wanted to show you my homemade slide fire or slam fire shotgun. This is the Talon 12. Running a UTG dual point sling. ATI featherweight stock with 1 8 inch cheek foam pad. This is actually a stock adapter for a 1911 airsoft pistol. It's actually made of metal, which is essential for this type of gun. It's epo steel epoxied to a male end piece that fits into the dual female one inch fitting. That adapter allows you to fit any AR-15 furniture you'd like with the standard screw on uh, stock. This vortex clamp down the on to the one inch pipe so it's fantastic. It's, it, it will mount onto any one inch pipe allowing you to mount optics, lights, lasers, 12, 12 gauge shell mounts like I have here, as well as your grip. Rather than having some piece of metal welded on, you can actually mount your grip to a weaver rail, solid. And uh, these are dual UTG grips. These are new on the market. Uh, area for your Skittles, front and rear. Um, the gun itself is actually three quarter inch steel plumbing pipe, one inch. I kept this 45 degree angle on it, gives it a good look. And then it's actually coupled with a larger one and one quarter inch steel pipe that it's expanded and welded in. It has punch welds actually into the one inch pipe beneath it. So you have a very solid mount here in the front and the back for your forms. There's no sliding. This cannot move. It's clamped down. It also runs a bolt that bolts all the way through the quad rail into the one inch pipe and into your steel firing group inside of this. The firing group is a six inch steel rod with a firing pin on its front and it's not back here it's right here in the middle in the strength of the pipe as well as this supporting quad rail there are ports drilled in on both sides back behind this quad rail if there ever was gas expansion it would release and come out of these vents rather than creating pressure to the back end which could blow your back end and hurt you not taking chances with a slide fire shotgun this is the loading breech. Most slide fire shotguns, if you have them point towards the ground, the barrel will just fall out. But this way you can hang your sling on your shoulder and the barrel will float freely. Then you just disengage your breech, load your shell in. That's a fired shell, by the way. Load back in, and that's your firing sequence. You go up front and punch it to the back. I ported my barrel heavily. This is due to the short barrel. It is over 18 inches for legal reasons. Um, but this helps a lot with muzzle recoil. And uh, as you can see from the shooting videos I'll show you, it keeps the accuracy spot on. Um, this shotgun is shockingly accurate. Um, for something homemade, I'm pleasantly surprised by it. And it is highly useful. This could be used for home defense, hunting, or just general range and varmint use. Um, I was inspired to build this from the Filipino guerrilla story. They built slide fire shotguns to defend their homeland just out of wood and pipe. And I really wanted to see what I could do with that. If I was faced with the situation of, hey, make a gun out of a piece of pipe, this is what I would build. But um, yeah, it was just really fun to build, easy to build, just parts from Home Depot and uh, cheaper than dirt. Um, now, I did spend as much on this as you would on a cheap pump-action shotgun, but no one else has one of these. And it's very cool to show off at the range and shoot with friends. Um, and it's very capable. So, if you like the video, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe. And if you have any questions, just hit me up in the comments and I'll be happy to add them, answer them. Have a great day. Thanks. Shooting about an eight inch watermelon with three inch Winchester Super X 15 pellet butt shot.
One thing I wanted to show you is a nifty little shell puller. It's a 12 gauge reload shell attached to just a wooden handle. Many times you can get expansion in the shell. And what that allows you to do is just pop it out. Now we're going to be running a two and three quarter inch slug Winchester Super X as well. Testing the accuracy a little bit. Another eight inch watermelon.